DIY crafts home decor. Are you thinking of starting a website in one of these niches, but maybe you're thinking that they're too competitive? Or maybe you're thinking that you cannot make enough money with your passion or your hobby? Okay, listen up. Your assumptions are totally wrong, and I will prove you in this video today that you can A, grow a website in these niches really fast, and I will show you how you can do it with Pinterest free traffic, and B, I will show you that you can actually make a very good living running a website about the things that you love. I'll show you a lady who managed to turn her hobby into a seven-figure business in just three years and many other bloggers who paid off their loans and have built a new lifestyle for themselves and for their families. Hi, I'm Anastasia of AnastasiaBlogger.com and on this channel I share my Pinterest marketing tips, online business and blogging tips every Thursday. If that's what you want to learn about, then subscribe to my channel and click on that bell button to get notified when my new videos go live. Here's the plan for our video today. First, I will show you the income potential of these niches. I like to start with inspiration, and when you see a few real people and their websites and some details of their income streams, you definitely feel more confident starting your own blog or even an e-commerce store in one of these niches that we are discussing today. And in the second part of the video, I will show you how you can use Pinterest the best way to get as much free traffic to your website as possible. And I will also mention other traffic generating ideas that work great for these niches, even though they might require more time and effort than Pinterest. So they could be your next steps after you establish your site on Pinterest. So let's dive into it. So first I'd like to talk about the income potential. And the first blogger I wanted to show you, her name is Debbie. Her site is The Flooring Girl. It's a typical home decor site, but she has a very strong focus on everything related to flooring. And she started another separate blog not to mix the two different topics, the blogging tips and her home decor stuff. Uh, she started a separate blog where she shared her income report for April 2019. She made $22,000 from her home decor blog. Just in a few moments, I'll tell you more about how exactly she makes money with her blog. But just to inspire you, uh, Debbie is a person who started her blog specifically because she was in a very critical financial situation. She had a huge debt to pay uh, and really fast. So actually this blog helped her do this even much faster than she ever could dream about it. And now if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see here that she shares the exact sources of income and the biggest is for her is affiliate links. Um, she makes mostly money from Amazon, but then she also added links to reward style and other some some other affiliate products and then she also makes quite a lot of money with ads on her site it's display ads and she uses monometric network it's similar it's also considered a premium ad network just like mediavine or ad thrive you need a lot of traffic though to uh, get access to some of this ad premium ad networks and also part of her income in that month comes from selling her own SEO ebook uh, for about, it's about $6,000. But even though $6,000 is a lot, especially for someone who is just starting, um, I want to note here that the majority of her income comes from the, the affiliate links and the advertising that she has on her blog itself, right? On, she makes this money through her niche, home decor niche. And I'd like to also show you this DIY blog by Jennifer from Jennifer Maker. And she published her latest income report on the blog in 2017 when she made almost $15,000. But actually she is now making seven figures with her blog per year. And she stopped sharing her income reports on the blog pages, but she sends her income reports only to people who are signed up to her list. But before we move to her current income and some information she shares uh, through, through the email, I just wanted to show you this 
old income report from 2017 because here you can see all the details from let's call them humble beginnings even though fifteen thousand dollars that you made in that month is already a huge amount of money for most of people who are just starting now so she made in that month uh, nine hundred dollars from media vine ads it's display ads on her side then she had quite a good um, affiliate income and the biggest income stream for her it was her own product it was a course she made about twelve thousand dollars that month uh, from selling her courses so she made a course for such a narrow niche uh, for people who like these cricket machines and know how to use them or want to learn how to use them uh, and she made so much money in probably it wasn't uh, probably it was the time when she launched her course i believe and now i just went to my inbox to show you what she's sending now well, this is the most recent I've got from her in December 2019. She shared how much money she made specifically in this email. She focused on advertising income. And in that month, she uh, I, I just want to make a little note here that December, it's the last month uh, of the year and it's the last month of the highest season for ad income. So the RPMs, like the payment that you get for a thousand visitors on your site is the highest in that month. So um, she made about $40,000 with Mediavine ads on her blog. And we're still talking about the same blog that in 2017 made $900 with Mediavine ads. Now you can tell the difference, right? And she's done a lot of work in these years, but anyways, just three years of difference. And you can tell how even ad income is very much scalable if you know what you're doing and if you're using quality traffic sources. And the second income uh, uh, stream was her YouTube channel. So on YouTube, you're monetized through Google AdSense ads, right? And she made over $8,000 just with ads on her YouTube channel. This also sounds crazy, but she's done a lot of work to grow her YouTube channel, but still $8,000 is the money that she's making through her blogging business. It's not exactly on her site that she makes this money, but her YouTube videos are also shared, of course, through other uh, social media that she is using on Facebook. She's sharing them all the time and she has them as well in her, inside of her blog posts. And I can also show you her October 2019 income report because here she shared specifically her affiliate revenue for that month. And you can see here that advertising revenue in this month, she didn't uh, cover it on in the email, but she focused on affiliate revenue and just with Amazon affiliate products, Program, she made over four thousand dollars and you can see here some other affiliate networks and specific products even sometimes that she's using um, for affiliate income on her blog and now I'd like to show you another income report from Surella blog. Uh, it's in February 2018, she made about $9,000. And you can see here some words that are already familiar for you probably. First, it's Ad Thrive Ad Income, right? It's display ads on her site. Ad Thrive is one of the premium ad networks. Then she had about $1,000 from sponsored posts, um, about $700 from YouTube, a little bit uh, from um, some affiliate networks and also her sales on Etsy uh, were about $1,200. You probably know that I'm sharing the best comment in every week's video. So if you have something positive and inspiring to say and you want to get a free shout out on my channel, just leave your comments on my latest videos. And this week's shout out goes to Sandra. Here is what she says. Thank you very much for your informative videos. I have implemented many of your tips and was able to increase my traffic by over 1000% within two weeks. I'm currently at 40,000 monthly viewers. Greetings from Germany. Thank you for sharing your progress, Sandra. People often ask me if they can successfully promote on Pinterest even if they don't live in the United States. And I don't know if you're targeting German or English speaking audience, but in any case, reaching 40,000 monthly viewers in just two weeks is a great result. Good luck on your journey and let us know how it goes for you in the future. So I hope that this gave you some inspiration. And now moving to the second part, I promised to show you why Pinterest is the best place for you to get traffic fast from if you start a new website in one of these niches we're talking about today. So let's look at the Pinterest. Um, we need to go to analytics, audience and sites. And then from here, you'll click on Pinterest users. And here inside this 
report, you can scroll down a little bit and you will see that DIY and crafts home decor are actually some of the top niches. And if you click on one of them, you will see on the right side some additional uh, subcategories and subtopics. And you can see the popularity of these topics on the platform. Now, I also invite you to check the page pinterest.com slash categories, because on this page, you will see some of the biggest niches on Pinterest. And if I open DIY and crafts, you will see here that there are almost 68 million followers of this niche on the platform. And then if I open home decor, you will see that this niche has 139 million followers on Pinterest. Now, maybe you've seen me doing this in some of my previous videos. If you look at uh, the big category and then you scroll down to related topics, you can find some additional ideas of what can be like the narrow niche inside this big niche of DIY and crafts, for example. So we're looking now at quilting or embroidery and you can see exactly how many people are following this exact topic. So it's about 2 million followers for this one. Now, getting back to our successful bloggers in this niche, I just wanted to show you some of the examples of how they use Pinterest to drive traffic to their sites. So Debbie has about 7.4 million monthly viewers on her Pinterest account right now. And you can see how many boards she has. It's almost 400 boards, so she's doing a lot of work on Pinterest, you can tell. I know that Debbie is a good specialist in SEO, Google SEO. Uh, so the majority of her traffic comes from Google. It's about 300,000 monthly page views. Um, but also she man mentions here that she's using Pinterest strategies that allow her to generate between 140 and 180 page views a month from Pinterest alone. So even though Debbie is doing so well on Google, she's not ignoring uh, what, what's going on with Pinterest and she's trying to um, get as much traffic as possible from Pinterest as well. I can tell you that Google SEO game is not easy for beginners because you need time uh, and you need patience while you're building those backlinks and while you're writing those long articles for that will rank high on Google. And it's not the same with Pinterest because here you can start getting traffic within several months uh, since you start your account. And this is really helpful for beginners. I always recommend anyone who wants to start uh, a website in one of these niches to start from Pinterest because I can show you here an example of one of the students of my Pinterest SEO traffic secrets course. Her name is Olga and she has a site on a pretty narrow niche. Her site is called Agebury and she's focusing on sewing tutorials. I'm now on my course page and showing you her testimonial for the course. And at this time when she uh, wrote it, it was about 6.7 million monthly viewers on Pinterest. And uh, she was very happy with the course. But I'm really proud looking at her account now, even a little bit later, when I see that she reached over 9 million monthly viewers on Pinterest. And it's not just the these monthly viewers on Pinterest that she gets. I know for sure that her blog was accepted to me Mediavine ad network. She also has some affiliate income through Amazon on her site. And probably by now she's getting also some significant amount of traffic from Google because her site has this long uh, style articles with very detailed descriptions and all the videos and instructions uh, for, for her readers. But um, I'm really happy that Pinterest gave her site this initial boost and allowed her to start making the first money with her site. If you ask me what's her secret, what she's doing different from maybe you or maybe some other people who are not so successful on Pinterest, you can tell that she has a ton of boards. They're all optimized for SEO. You can go and check how many uh, keywords she included in the descriptions of her boards. You can tell that she's working hard on her account, that she's adding detailed descriptions to her pins. She has this huge variety of styles and designs of her uh, Pinterest images and all of that helps her to get a lot of traffic from Pinterest. So if you're interested in joining my Pinterest SEO traffic secrets course, 
you can click on the link in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. And also I have a free Pinterest masterclass. I'll give you a link as well in the top right corner and in the description below this video. And of course, I'd like to go back to the blog of Jennifer Maker and also show you her Pinterest account. So she has over 10 million monthly viewers. Um, you can tell that this is all DIY home decor craft, right? This is what her account is about. And you can see here that she has over 172 boards. Her following is quite big. If you click on the community, you'll see that she has over 123,000 followers. And if you think of some inspiration for growing your own Pinterest account in one of these niches, then take a look at her account really and just see how different are the styles of her pins, but how she's paying attention to making her text overlays really easy to read. And um, even if you scroll really quickly the feed, you will see that all the colors are different and they are all attractive. The images and also the text are so easy to read. By the way, if you pay attention to her account, you will notice that almost every pin that we're looking at has a text overlay on top of it. And this is the very basic um, recommendation that I give to all of my students in the course program, that you have to have a text overlay if you are working on getting traffic from Pinterest. Because I would say that in this home decor and DIY niche, there is a big tendency that users are going just to like your images if you just make photos of your crafts or maybe of the home decor or interior decor that you want to show, users might like them as ideas and they might save to their boards. But if you don't give them a reason on your pin itself to click through from the pin to your website, they will not go to your site. They don't have a reason for this. They just like the idea and they just save it to their board with their favorite, let's say, living room decor ideas. Okay. And of course, if I go to Surella, uh, a Pinterest account, um, it's the, the other blog that I showed you, the income report for her site, you will see the same pattern. She has a huge monthly viewers number on Pinterest, and I'm sure that she gets a ton of traffic from Pinterest. She also started adding lately, I can tell, a lot of video pins. If you click on the close-up, you will see that all the users now have a chance to click on this video engagement uh, icons, and this helps the video pins stand out as well, not just because they're moving pins, but also because they have this very different type of engagements that is not available for the regular image pins. And I can tell you that for bloggers and e-commerce stores, and for anyone who is selling handmade products on Etsy, for example, or maybe on your own website, e-commerce website, it's a very good strategy to have these video pins and show the process, the creative process, or maybe just the last moments before you're finishing the item, because it really matches this niche when you're showing um, the actual process of making the item and not just showing the result in the shape of the let's say, a pin image. So the video pins really work great for anything related to handmade, to um, crafts and DIYs. So I recommend you to start now using your video pins because you can tell that since um, there are not so many videos on Pinterest video pins, I mean, uh, the platform is trying hard to, you know, to support creators who spend their extra time for creating this special uh, format of pins, like different from images, it's video pins. You maybe also notice some pins like this one where part of the pin is moving it's the top part, let's say, is a video and the bottom part is some text and, um, and just a static image. So you can create this kind of pins in Canva, for example, it's a free online tool. And in my course, I have a video lesson showing you how you can do this in Canva really quickly and easily. And as I promised at the beginning of this video, I'll not just talk about Pinterest all the time, but I'll also mention some other traffic sources for these blogs. And the biggest traffic source for Debbie, um, maybe you already understood that she's a specialist in Google SEO. So uh, she is getting a lot of traffic from Google, specifically from Google. I also know that for Jennifer Maker, YouTube probably is a great traffic source and also income source because she makes money with YouTube ads. Uh, so she has a around 268,000 subscribers right now on YouTube. 
And if you think that she became so big and even she has this verified icon on her account because she started years ago, maybe 10 years ago or something, you're mistaken. Because if you uh, sort her videos by the oldest, you will see that her earliest videos were added th just three years ago. And you can tell here that just this uh, first four videos were published three years ago. And then she got really serious about her YouTube strategy and started adding two years ago. She started adding a ton of videos and you can tell that this is an endless list of videos that she created to achieve this success on YouTube and also with her blog. And as I mentioned, uh, video format is really great for this kind of niches. I just wanted to show you the YouTube account of Surella blog and you'll see here that she also has about uh, 229,000 subscribers. Now, uh, YouTube is not an easy type of content. Creating videos takes more time than just making photos or creating images for Pinterest. Getting traction on Google is also not so easy. It takes time. It takes time to build your domain authority and also to build your backlinks. So I'm not telling you that you should only focus on Pinterest forever, but as a beginner, I believe Pinterest can give you a great boost and it can give you the first income that allows you to grow your presence on other platforms as well. I hope this video was helpful. And if you know someone who just started a blog or an e-commerce site in one of these niches I was talking about today, and you know that they're struggling to get traffic or to make money out of their blogs, then share this video with them. If you think it was useful, then give me a thumb up, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more of my Pinterest tips. Now I'm signing off for today and before you leave, here are my other videos that are perfectly complementary to what I shared with you today. Check them out here and there and I'll see you in the next videos.